Okay, I got to do a video on this. Uh, I asked and had permission to do so. I never got a response. So uh, I'm going to do it anyway. Usually we do stuff and don't make it public. But this is a good news story or educational story or fact story or whatever you want to call it. Anyway. Last Thursday or Wednesday, and I forgot what it was. Anyway, uh, I was supposed to meet this individual in front of Subway. And uh, what do I see go in there? Two cops, Yves Debray and Bobby Simmons. Those were the one that falsely accused me to be a pedophile. They raided this place. But, um, okay, never mind that. Focus. So uh, the individual arrived, and I said, you're 10 minutes late. Well, Charles, I'm a busy person, blah, blah, blah. So I said, no problem. And who was it? The mayor. A lot of people are critical of the mayor. And uh, myself, I have an open, an open mind policy with her. And she's much better than idiot mayor Michael Bryan. That's for damn sure. And really, personally, I never really had, never, never had no issues. Uh, as a matter of fact, the first day she got there, we got a portable washroom at Carlton Park, which idiot Mayor Mike O'Brien removed, order it, remove it. it would, you could use pick a rooms. Okay, focus, Charles. So, I told her, maybe she thought we're going for a submarine. Uh, submarine. <laughs> Go for, no, no editing in this. Uh, Go for a sub at Subway. So I said, no, we're going for a walk. She had her little media person with her. And I said, what we're going to do, we're going to go to the soup kitchen. I want to give her a tour of the Fredericton Community Soup Kitchen. So we start walking. And then I said, so I showed her uh, the so-called so -called, uh, doctor, Sarah Davidson, the so-called drug rehab center, and just show her that was a piece of foam, all the trash has been there since this morning, look. And we had a debate about her. Anyway, so then I said, let's start a walk. And then she said, I told her to go inside. Well, Charles, I didn't know you were a gentleman. I said, I'm, no, I'm not a gentleman, I'm suicidal. So we arrive around the corner at the soup kitchen, and then I seen a security telling a met head, okay, get out of here anyway i go yes it's starting so there was a little bit of high voice and next thing you know they have a fence it used to be a seal fence but they opened it up so the met heads can be in there and it was about i would say about 10 to 15 of them screaming you fucking asshole oh i forgot i told the mayor we're not gonna stop just keep on going, keep on walking, don't talk. If somebody wants to talk to you, we don't stick around. And nobody will know who, who's the mayor anyway. So we started. And they were screaming, you piece of shit, you asshole. Uh, what was that, another one? You jerk. Uh, anyway, they were all swearing against each other. Not me, not the mayor, against each other. Anyway, it was just, it, it was bad. And then we went around the corner, and what was there? A police cruiser. So I said, all right. So the police, <laughs> the cop that was inside, facial, facial expression, seeing me and the mayor side by side coming around the corner, like WTF. So... We kept on going, and I noticed two met heads behind me, and I stopped the mayor, and I said, look on the, uh, on the wall, and there was just a little sign, no parking. I said, look, look, in French, look, 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 and now at the end, I just wanted the met heads to go to walk by, and then uh, we continue on. So I had about half an hour left. I bought her behind the government house. I showed her the nice, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, it was like a, uh, what do you call it? 
an outpost or whatever. It was a place where they had nice fence and a bench. You could enjoy the St. John River. And the only, they destroyed everything. The only thing left is a small little post. I said maybe they should put concrete here, a cement, uh, a, a steel bench, put it again, put it, uh, nail it, and screw it down, whatever. I mean, we used to enjoy the St. John River, but we can't do it no more. So then she said, Charles, I'm almost done here, 2 o'clock. I said, yep, yep. So we start walking towards City Hall slowly. So what do I see ahead of me? Five met heads with masks on. Of course, the good law-abiding citizen. They always wear masks. They don't want nobody to catch COVID. Next thing you know, we walk by. I said, you blogger, you piece of shit, you asshole, you. So her, she sort of looked. Anyway, so we kept on going. And I said, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I'll protect you, just keep on going. So, I'm not sure if there was so many things going on. I'm not sure if I hollered, usually I say, go fuck yourself, and we just keep on going. So anyway, at the end, I said, this is what's going on here. This is no longer the Fredericton Community Soup Kitchen. There's a lot of people going hungry in this city because they're afraid to go at the soup kitchen. Something has to be done. Well, you can't put them, uh, you can't, okay, this is a spot, people could go there and have a nice hot meal. They can't because the met head will be outside and they'll destroy the neighborhood. I say maybe they should give more money towards Meals on Wheels. And I added the food bank across the river, which I told two other counselor, Eric McGammonie and, and uh, uh, Jocelyn Pike, I said, there's a bus shelter, uh, there's a bus stop at the food bank, but there's no bus shelter. They should have, a, there's a lot of people, a lot of immigrants too, taking the bus, but there's no bus shelter. When it rains, they're all wet. That's not right. They should have a bus shelter. And another one is affordable housing. They say $1,400 a month, affordable housing, excuse me. So that was my trip. And this afternoon, there's a few other things that happened. We have new Met heads arriving in this city. Very, very dangerous. Uh, I even was talking to the guy that owns the Radical Edge. We're talking this afternoon, and I said, yeah, Met heads wearing masks and everything. I said that, and five seconds later, there's a Met head with a mask and a hoodie at two o'clock in the afternoon. Of course, they're wanted by the police, but police can't say, what are you do doing wearing a mask? They're, they're just protecting the community. But um, Fredericton is getting worse, and the media, all they say is homelessness, 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 just like the tiny, I want to have tiny homes in St. John. Oh, bravo, bravo, right beside the Fern Hill Cemetery. The Fern Hill Cemetery is going to be totally destroyed. But they talk about homelessness, homelessness. This choose to be homeless. You can't give them housing because they will destroy the place. But the bottom line here, I wanted the mayor to see it and hear it with her own eyes. And guess what? She did. And good for her to step forward and say, I want to see it. Because if she would announce that she was going there, they would have put all the met heads in one room or one building and show, oh, your worship, welcome, welcome. Look how beautiful this is. They would have had a nice meals and everything and no oh, there's no trouble here because that LeBlanc woman the con she's my consular I wouldn't know her if I bump into her uh there are, she's on console and they don't dare to say nothing because she's there 